Welcome back, everybody. Last time we were making our way slowly through the long tower of Mysidia. It's Wolf Fallen. I cleared out my inventory. I went back, sold a bunch of stuff. Uh, you probably sell the flame sphere and the fl uh, flame spear and the flame sword. Probably sell the earth one too if you want, but uh, I didn't do that for some reason. So let's continue. The floors are a lot simpler right now. These last few floors are really simple. God damn it, Maria got the stone. Why is it every one of my goddamn episodes starts with one of my party members getting stoned? I think that's happened the last three or four episodes. It's really getting annoying. Uh, let's use that potion just for fun. Apparently you can use it even if you have full health. Wow. That's, uh, that's very cruel. Oops. As always, nothing in those doors. Yeah, I think we're up to like, what, five doors that actually had something in them? Actually, I don't even think five. I think we're up to like, two? Three? Maybe three, I think? Evil? That weapon casts, um... If used as a battle item, it'll cast, uh... Bio 8, I think? Or not Bio, sorry, Poison 8, or Scourge 8, or Arrow 8, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Depending on what you're playing. Sorry, it's Arrow 16 on everybody. Hey. Where the hell are you? Eh, he's not there. They throw you for a little loop. Uh, yeah, the floor is a little more, less of a maze and straightforward. I guess they figured you'd be pissed off by now. Hermes shoes, that casts haste when used as an item. Or shoes. Uh, I think it's haste 5, maybe haste 8, I'm not sure. Ah, there he is. Yeah, so they tried to throw you for a little loop. So, uh, yeah, another Gigas. Thunder Gigas, Mr. T. Um, this is why uh, you should equip the evil. Uses arrow 16 on a single random enemy. Yeah, barely heard him. This guy's probably the toughest out of all of them, except for Gus just white his sword. Oh. Hey! You're supposed to be weak to that, you bastards. Well, anyways, he's supposed to be weak to poison. Maybe I should have buffed up, but oh well. Yeah, that's some critical. Gus pay it, repaid him a favor. Um, what the hell happened there? Uh, maybe by random target it means anybody? I don't know, well, anyways. Theoretically should have worked, but I don't know why it did not. Aurelian. Oh, this is damage. Went up by like 100 points, so... Yeah, C780. What the hell? I guess it literally attacks um, a random person, which is quite amazing. I didn't think that you could actually attack yourself like an idiot, but I guess it happens. I don't think I'm going to need haste, just easier just to take them out. That's not bad damage. Holy crap. There we go. We got some good leveling up there. 
Oh, Richard Spear went up. Yeah, this is why you want to keep, um... That's why you want to keep, uh, Furion's HP up. There we go. Alright, let's continue on. Absolutely not here. It just goes straight up. Okay, apparently here we have a large Mulbrow, I guess? I don't know. I did not know these were here, but we'll take them out anyways. Oh no, Bolt. Mulbrows are weak to Bolt. Take that guy out so he doesn't stone me. Stop hitting me! Only I can hit you. This isn't fair. It's not fair when the enemy fight back, you know. That's what makes this game hard. The enemies fight back. If they couldn't fight back, this game would be good. It's unfair. Guess he wasn't that weak to lightning, but okay. I guess the standard rule didn't apply for him. You know, that's weird. I guess maybe it has something to do with their uh, magic stat, but he gets less... Uh, Richard gets less HP than Gus of Furion. Okay, he's still at A9. Now what that is, is I guess it overloads, and that ends up becoming a hex number, I guess, to fix. Uh, and hexadecimal... The numbers go up to 9, and then it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's placeholders. I don't know if that makes any sense. Final spell for Maria, but it's guarded. Oh, crap. It's not what I was hoping to see. Uh, Berserk. Peace. Blink. Oh, whew. we got a first strike, thank god, so I can buff up. Otherwise, this would be bad news. Let's go. Hopefully Maria can take that flower out in one shot. No, she cannot. Just focus on one of them. Take out the flower if you can, because it's... Uh, The flower will poison and confuse you just like that. Not bad, Gus, not bad. Still didn't take him out. Come on, Maria. This is not going to look good for me. God damn it. Poison and confused. God, I hate that damn flower. Stop hitting me. Thank you, holy cow. Thank God. Oddly enough, Maria has like, well, I guess she hasn't been hit as much. To increase your agility, you have to be hit. Bolt, and hopefully if it won't hit Gus. Okay, I can live with that. Yeah, I know, that sounds real bad. God.
god. That sucks, but hopefully uh, Richard will take him down. There we go. Holy cow. Woo! My heart's a beating there. Yeah, I don't care about that. So there's the final spell for Maria. I'm not gonna use it on her just yet. Uh, it's also the most powerful black magic you're gonna see. To give these guys a little bit of cure here. Alright, so let's head on to the next floor. So the only door is this one just below. There we go. No mage, thankfully. I really have to start remembering to move my team members into the front row after they die or something. Most annoying mechanic in the world. Egg timer? Or hourglass? Uh, I think it slows enemies down. I'm not sure. I don't really care. This place has serious pro uh, plumbing problems. It's got like water coming out the top floor. to see their hydro bill. That's gotta cost a lot of money to get like water way the hell up here. Alright. There's a reason why I'm doing this and I'm sure you can figure out why. Because what's in here is guarded by a powerful enemy. There's no boss in the area so don't worry. Black robe, monster attacks. And it is a ice dragon. Or I guess just a dragon. Damn it. Stop ambushing me. I believe your spells were more powerful in in battle, because I think it actually uses um I, I think if you use it in the command menu, it's only using it as if you have one soul or spirit. So it's not as effective. Really, this guy's really hurting me. It's okay. I can stand it. I'm a man. See, if you only ever use your spells in battle, like, didn't purposely use them, just use them as you need them, you would never get anywhere. Like, most of my spells, like haste, would be on level 1 if I didn't grind them. Luckily, they, when they spread their uh, the split damage against your party is ridiculously hampered compared to uh, some of the others. So thank God. Richard, that was pathetic. It wasn't any better guess. Well, it was slightly better, but not really better. Anyways, he's dead. Enough said. Continue on. Just wading through random water. Second door. No mage again. You'd expect a water mage or something, but whatever. Do uh, any of you recognize this guy? It's our uh, old buddy Min. He's apparently going to break the seal on Ultima. Oh no! Don't go! Don't lie down, Min! And we have lost our first ally, Min. But that's okay, because we have the Ultima skill. So what you want to do is you want to test the orbs on the outside. Strength goes up. Wisdom goes up. Soul goes up, whatever. Intelligence goes up, whatever. And speed goes up. Now, I don't think those... When I was looking at them, and I did test run, I don't think they actually work. So, I think they're bugged in this game, or something's wrong with it. Anyways. And we tame the Ultima Scroll. So there we go. All said and done. Let us head back to, uh... Full tea, I think? Oh my god, what the hell has happened? What the hell happened to LT? 
Well, we'll have to find it in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.